This is the most impressive AI I've seen this year. I'm not talking about a large language model or a video generator. The most impressive AI I've seen so far this year is Color.io, a color grading software. Look, I'm not sponsored or affiliated with this company in any way. I just think it's awesome and I want to share it with you. And if you've ever had problems color grading before, this might help you out a lot. First, I'll show you why I like it so much, and then I'll show you some of the cool features of the site. First, it's fast, like so fast and honestly fun to use, which goes against a lot of my color grading experience. It's super customizable. It has way more options than my brain can process. And it sort of is a glimpse into the future of what we can expect from technology in terms of ease of use, at least. So you upload a picture and then over here on the right side, we have all the different color grading presets to choose from. Look how fast and awesome this is. I mean, there are quite a lot of options to go through. Right now we're in the 35 millimeter film category, but there is cinematic looks and motion picture film. Look, I don't know what a lot of this means. All I know is that you get to select the foundational look of your image, but then we get to the really cool stuff. So I happen to like this Fuji Pro 400 look. We can click on edit and we have a lot of customizable control here. We can raise the intensity of certain colors everything from balance to scattering of shadows and light to the refraction of individual color. Honestly, you've probably seen a lot of these tools before, but again, that's not the most impressive part. If we go back to the categories, we can click on the ellipses and hit remix. That will bring up this color profile generator, and this is the most fun part of color.io. You get to select the base look and then explore different options within that look. And I'm not going to lie, this is kind of hard to choose between them. Number one is great, but I think I like number two. Either way, I'm going to select more like this, and it's going to generate more looks in that general direction. Check out the difference in her freckles between number one and number two. I don't know which setting would have caused that change, but this workflow is a breath of fresh air. So I am going to go with number one, and I'll hit apply. Now I have that color grading on my image. Now, maybe I should have mentioned this at the start, but color.io is free. There are a lot of features hidden behind the pro version. I currently don't have the pro version and if we did we would be able to save this particular generation as a preset. You also get higher quality exports and I think you get the ability to color grade video. Like, this is a big game changer. But let me show you some more features that you might like. We can add new scenes here at the top and let's say you have a batch of images all from the same sort of prompt. In this case these were all generated with mid-journey. You can hold control or command on your keyboard and select multiple images images and then color grade them all at once. This is so helpful and so awesome. Ooh, I like this one a lot. ASC Bright. Let's remix it again. Then take a look at the top here. There's this little split screen button. And now we can click on the screen, drag it left to right and see what our color grading is doing to the images. The before and the after. Do you see how fast that is? It's all running in your browser. Let me take you back into the refraction option because I think this feature gives you the most control. Again, we can select individual colors and adjust their intensity. You can completely remove the yellow or dial it up. Again, we have the split screen view on. So there's the before and here's the after. Maybe we can raise the intensity of the pink a little and the blue as well. Sure, ooh, I like those. We'll bring the yellows up a bit, turquoise. There is plenty of control here. And you know what's really awesome? There is a simple black and white button right here at the top. Just like that, turn your images black and white. Next to the black and white is where we can set a color mask. This will allow you to set the range of specific colors and isolate them. Ooh, look at those. Oh, I love that look. All thanks to playing around with color IO. And again, maybe I don't know exactly what I'm doing. That's sort of a fault of mine. I think there's a lot to learn about color, but color.io is an amazing way to learn and play around. It's a lot of fun. You can edit multiple pictures at once and the feedback is so fast. I swear I'm not sponsored in any way. I just think this is a lot of fun and you might enjoy it as well. We have an undo button at the top as well as a redo button. But then look in the middle, this is a history timeline. Maybe this feature is to be expected, but you can just drag throughout your history of your edits on the photo. All of the features you would want in a color grading atmosphere can be found right here. At the top in our scenes, we can copy the grade of our scenes. So if you're working on one individual picture at once and you like your results, you can paste that across multiple images. That is great. And we can also rename our scenes up here. So organization is top notch as well. Down here at the 
the bottom, we can click on fill mode and that will just increase the size of our pictures, kind of push them together, maybe give you a different perspective. If you were to go up to export, under the free version, we can export at a JPEG of 75% quality. If we wanted to upgrade it to 100, we would have to upgrade our subscription. You know what? Let's see how expensive that is. 11.75 American a month. Maybe that would be a lot if you don't use this very often, but I don't think that's that bad for this kind of technology. And take a look at this, 150 bucks flat rate, no subscription, and you get lifetime access. That might be something you want to explore. I don't know, again, it's completely up to you. But take a look at this. You can download a 3D LUT for all of these different programs. DaVinci Resolve, Photoshop, Premiere, After Effects, Final Cut. Imagine being able to tinker with a screenshot of your video in this program and then export that to your entire video. And you know what my biggest problem is when it comes to color? is that I think a lot of things are beautiful. It's really hard for me to narrow down and choose a specific look. I think Color I.O. lets me experiment really fast, and if I was able to use this in my videos for YouTube, like, oh my god, this would save me so much time. I don't know if you've ever tried color grading in Premiere Pro. It's a bit of a mess if you don't know what you're doing. Now I want to show off some pictures from the community based on one of my recent videos, breaking the fourth wall with Mid Journey. Take a look at these generations, thank you so much for submitting them, and if you want to learn how to make them yourself, you can check out this video right here. I hope you're doing well, take care, and I'll see you next time. Peace.